Okay, so I just did a reading about somebody in a relationship. You know, they're not happy. This person is thinking about you. That person wants to be in a relationship with you. They're in regret. Um, they had done committed to this person, you know, um, gave this person some type of stability. And it's like now they're concerned about a child. Now, what I was getting into reading, <clears throat> you know, at first it was coming off as if this was, you know, someone that was like um, in a relationship with a person that is trying to prevent them from going towards their twin or, you know, someone that they have a fated or destined meeting with. And um, they have been trying to play some type of illusion over that person. You know, this person would be in love with them while this person would be just taking care of them. You know, they needed that person for stability. And it's like I was getting so much at the end of the reading. You know, so much was coming to me about whoever this person is. And um, and it's like that person, it came as if they were trying to prevent a friend from coming towards uh, you. So it's like whoever this person is, that person, this could be, you know, how I said in the last reading, you know, for some people it could have been, you know, that person is trying to prevent your soulmate from coming towards you or a twin flame take it where it resonates um, because they're stuck in some type of relationship and they're in regret. But it's like once I cut the reading off, I'm getting a lot of more stuff. It's like that could be your soulmate or your twin. You know, say if this is your twin in a relationship with someone, that person plays some type of illusion over them. Um, they're in regret. They're concerned about a child now. They didn't commit it to this person. You know, they have this person uh, under some type of stable foundation. After they partnered up with the person, all hell broke loose. And it's like a, a friend that they're attached to, that person is having some type of unexpected feelings towards you. And it's like, you know, I've been getting a couple songs. This person is someone that's feeling like they have to disconnect from whoever either your twin is in order to come towards you because now they want to be in like a commitment with you. But it's like, if this is your twin in the relationship, they're trying to prevent that person from coming towards you because it's like they settled and now they feel trapped in some type of relationship with someone. And um, they don't want anyone else to come towards you because they've been admiring you. So it was like two different people admiring one person. And it's like, I don't know, the reading I did before that is, you know, time to say goodbye. I kept hearing that last night and I never thought nothing of it. And then I kept hearing another song. Why you want me? And you know, you got a woman like I've been hearing those two songs over and over and over again. And my, like I woke up hearing why you want me? And you know, you got a woman. And I'm just like me. So it's like everything started coming to me when I did the first reading. And um, well, when I did this last reading before this one. And it's like, as I said, it could be, you know, you could have a soulmate that's attached to your twin. This person is having some type of unexpected feelings for you. They want to come towards you. And then your twin could be stuck in some type of cycle. Or as I said, that person could be in a toxic relationship and they don't want your twin to come towards you. But I don't know why I got that when I got, you know, cut the reading off that. You have a faded meeting with this person. They feel like they are, you know, they made a mistake attaching themselves, settling for someone that tried to, you know, trap them. They were placing some type of dark magic over them and their friend unex unexpectedly started having emotions for you. And they, um, they want to come towards you. This person want to be in a relationship with you, but they feel like they have to detach from whoever this person is in order to come towards you. So, yeah, this is, this is a lot. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. And then you have the Ace of Wands. Hold on one second. Then you have the Death card. Yeah, so it's like you're... You ended a cycle out. You're in this nine of pentacles energy. Um, you've been single for a long time and it's like you're receiving a lot of good luck, abundance, or you're getting ready to receive that. Um, you're definitely someone who have started over with the ace of wands. You've ended something out. You have the eight of wands and then the ten of swords. 
So yeah, somebody definitely wants to communicate with you about some type of betrayal. Like if somebody um did something to backstab you behind the scenes, somebody wants to tell you this. You have the star. And then the two of swords. So yeah, it's like somebody lied. If a person was coming towards you, the food card is here. Somebody lied. It's like because another person was looking at someone as their wish fulfillment. So it's like once that person was going towards, you know, coming towards you, if you're the star, some type of lie was told to that person. So to prevent somebody from coming towards you. You have the moon in the reverse. Yeah, it's like now it's out. Somebody found out it was a lie. You have the empress. And then the chariot. Yeah. Somebody definitely found out it was a lie. And it's like that person sees you on the chariot. Like you've evolved from the nine of pentacles to the empress. You've moved forward. Or moved on from something. you hangman. And five of wands. So it's like somebody felt trapped or they felt stuck and they wanted to create a lot of chaos and conflict for you because they felt trapped and they seen you moving forward. So they could have spread some type of lie. Yeah, somebody was desperately trying to keep, you know, keep somebody blocked off from coming towards you. They were being very defensive if this person was, you know, wanted to come towards you. You have the five of pentacles. And then the Eight of Cups. Page of Wands. Yeah, something backfired. When I'm thinking to myself, what is this Seven of Wands? Something definitely backfired. It's like that person could have lost a lot. Whatever they were trying to do to you, if they caused some type of betrayal because they seen that you had moved forward, you ended something out. You're starting over and um, somebody wanted to come towards you and they lied to that person. And, um, and there's no telling what they said to that person. But now that person is finding out it was a lie. It's like they look at that person as someone that was jealous, secretly trying to, you know, compete with them or one up them or something like that. And it's like that person went through some type of karma because the five of pentacles is here. So they could have lost a lot financially and they're in regret. This person could have got mad because you withdraw from them or stop communicating with them or something like that. This person could be in regret because they stopped communicating with you or something. Yeah, king of swords is here. Uh, this is someone that was acting very cold with this king of swords. I'm so dumb. And if this person was being very cold to you, very distant, um, you could have just withdraw from that person. Like if something wasn't right about that person and you knew you withdraw from that person, you didn't communicate with that person or something like that. And they're in regret. But they were trying to stop another person from coming towards you. So they spread it some type of lie on you. And it backfired. Like the truth came out. You have the lovers. And then the six of cups. Then you have the sun. I'm so, so, so you would least expect this. I'm so, oh man, this is so serious. So it's like whoever this person is, that person was someone that was blinded from the truth. While they were trying to blind another person from the truth, like this could be your soulmate or your twin. And you know, it's like something was illuminated to them about you and them reuniting in this lifetime. And they were trying to prevent a friend from coming towards you while they were in some type of toxic cycle. It's like they seen you in something out and they felt stuck. 
and they were trying to keep this person blocked off from going towards you and as i said whatever they said about you they've been they, they've been receiving some type of karma this person got mad because um it's like they distanced themselves from you or they were very cold to you and you just withdraw from the situation they're in regret for this because while this person was in this king of swords energy with you as I said in the last reading, this person did not know that whoever the person is that they are attached to had them place something over them to like keep them stuck for stability. And they were using a child. Now it's like in that reading, that person is sitting back thinking about you. They're concerned about this child and, you know, different things like that. And they started realizing the person that they had them partnered up with, settled for. And now it's like they're finding out, you know, a lot of stuff was illuminated to them about you and them. I'm so done. You have the hermit. And then the six of pentacles. Yeah, this person is expecting for you to stay in hermit mode or in isolation until they balance something out or something like that. But it's like if this person ghosted you, they this person wants to come towards you to to make something right now that something have been illuminated to them because they were trying their hardest to block somebody else from coming towards you as they were under some type of illusion feeling stuck to a karmic toxic relationship you got the ten of wands this person is weighed down with a lot of guilt if this person spread it lies on you talked about you in a negative way everything came out you have the world yeah something has definitely ended something is over yeah, Knight of Swords is here. Somebody is pissed. And as I said, if they seen you ending some type of cycle out and starting a new beginning, like something was over, this person ran in in the Knight of Swords and rage, anger, and um, did something without even thinking. It's like they did something way too quick. And it's like they lied to try to prevent somebody else from coming towards you. They felt. Yeah, because they felt trapped. Eight of Swords is here. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. It's like somebody was distracting this person, doing something, as I said, behind the scenes that that person didn't know. And it was to keep that person, like, stuck. So they're in that person's energy wanting you to feel stuck. So nobody would not come towards you because... Secretly, they want to be in a relationship with you, but they had to settle for whatever the, this toxic relationship that they were in. I'm so done. Yeah, you have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like somebody settled for someone that was like a one night stand. Um, somebody that's a very low vibration, no lustful energy. Yeah. And that person was placing some type of, you know, lust magic over them or, you know, to keep that person attracted to them. That person will always be interested in them, you know, chasing after them or something like that. And it's like now they're in regret. Whatever you said to this person, if this is you, you communicated something to this person with the page of wands, five of cups, they're in regret. They didn't believe whatever it is that you said. Wealthy man is here. And then you have distant horizons. Yeah, somebody was trying to desperately like, you know, keep this person, you know, blinded from the truth so they could keep that person like distant from you. And they would be attached to this person for, you know, whatever they had. Material, material things, material wise. You have thief. Yeah, somebody is definitely attached to a thief. And then thoughts. Somebody could have thought, somebody could have been, you know, thinking about how to steal something from you um, and get away with it. They would have a whole bunch of money or something like that. That's also what I'm seeing. But if this person was thinking about trying to take something from you um, to keep something hidden, you know, they didn't want, this is, this is almost coming off as, you know, they didn't want, they had to prove that they didn't have any emotions for you. So they had to cause some type of deception thief is here to get inside of another person's head to satisfy them. But it's like that person already knew if they were trying to keep that person under a spell, they did not want that person to come towards you. They were secretly competing with you and they knew about the Six of Cups lover's energy. 
Like these are soulmates or these could be twins. You know, there's a destined reunion here. So it's like this person is realizing as they were, you know, running around lying and trying to blind a person from the truth, they were lied to. They were blinded from the truth. Equal give and take. Whatever you do come back on you tenfold, good or bad. Yeah. And somebody is dealing with karma, like something backfired. As I said, if they were thinking about being deceptive to you, like stealing from you or something like that, setting you up, that backfired. If this person intentionally stole something from you and thought they hadn't got away with it, it backfired. Like they're 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 um having karma in their finances. You have adjudication. Yeah, somebody is definitely under judgment. Them and the person that they are attached to. Because like somebody was out to get them and they were like, you know, could be, you know, try to send that person. Hey, you need to go and try to deceive that person, steal from that person. You can get away with it. <laughs> this is sad. And somebody just went through some unexpected karma and realized they were on a merry-go-round battling with their self. You know, keeping their self bound to someone that, you know, had a lot hidden from them that they didn't know. And they're wishing that they would have, um, they're wishing they would have listened to something that you warned them about. You have occupation. And then main male. Yeah, this is something serious. They could have paid somebody to come towards you. They could have had somebody, okay, so whoever the person is that is a friend of theirs, that person is someone that could have been paid to say they slept with you or um, to come towards you, to try to get in a relationship with you, deceive you. This is somebody that had them fall, fell in love with you. It's like, th these are unexpected feelings, as I said in the last reading. You have concern. Somebody is definitely concerned. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am not trying to. This is sad. Like, I'm getting so much. Somebody had to play with so much stuff. And it's like the illusions that they were trying to place over that person or these people to have them in this Knight of Wands energy or attracted to them or um admiring them. This could have been glamour spells, not seeing them for who they truly are. These people are glued to you, attracted to you. So it's like another person. They're sitting back in regret. Somebody is definitely realizing that they were dealing with a false person. This person was using spirituality in a negative way to place an illusion over these people. Yeah. Um, so there's somebody that was sitting back behind the scenes playing with a lot that they know nothing about. You have Journey. Yeah, and it's like you're on a journey. You're on the right path. This concerns them because they're in despair. It's like they feel like they made a bad choice. You have expectation. Yeah, somebody kept their self held up from um, getting on the right path with journey and expectation here. Yeah, changes here. Wow. And as they were holding that person up and they weren't, you know, seeing that they had them been fooled by whoever this person is and they were trying to hide how they felt about you, to, trying to stop another person from coming towards you. You know, they could have been working with whoever this is, you know, asking that person like, you think I should go just to see how that person would feel. And this person, whoever this friend is, found out that person have hidden emotions for you. So they were working for whoever this person is to try to get information out of them. And they didn't know a friend was going back to this false person and letting them know everything, how they felt about you, what they were saying about you or something like that. And it's like, it came off as if that person was um, defensive about coming towards you. Yeah, somebody is definitely concerned. It's like, because they're watching you. Whatever they're seeing or looking at on their phone, it concerns them. They're shocked. Yeah, this is sad. It's like somebody was definitely working overtime behind the scenes to try to keep that person blinded from the truth. And it's like whoever this friend is, they were in cahoots with this false person trying to get information out of this person about you, you know, asking about you, wanting to come towards you. And they were trying to hide from this friend that they have emotions for you. But it's like now this friend has fallen for you. They're watching you. 
So it's like now these two people that they thought that this false person thought they had under some type of control, they're glued to you watching you. Yeah, anxiety is here. Somebody is definitely going through depression. They're stressed out. Somebody had them been playing with something they know nothing about. You have home. And then unexpected. Yeah, this is something serious. And then it's like when this friend... Okay, say if this person came to your house. It's like that person was mad. This person was stressed out. This friend, they did this because it was like a sh something was. They didn't. They weren't able to predict that that person was going to meet up with you or something like that. Like somebody went to somebody's house and another person was stressed out. Yeah, secret crush. I'm so done. You have reconciliation. Crossroads and ex-lover. So now that this person wants to reconcile with you, whoever this ex is, they're standing at a stalemate. They don't know what to do. They're heart, they're heartbroken. You have party. And then you have single. Yeah. It's like you're in this energy. You're happy. You're at peace. You're celebrating. You're, you know, single, self-sufficient, abundant. And um, you're in a high vibrational energy. That person is stressed out. You know, this is someone who cannot be by their self. Their goal was to keep that person stuck to take care of them. And it's like that person ended up losing a lot because they weren't able to see that that person had them blinded them from the truth and was trying to keep them blinded while they were trying to blind another person from the truth about how they truly felt about you. And these people were working together behind the scenes. Yeah, it's like they knew. Yeah, toxic relationship. And then you have breakup. Yeah, it's like now this person wants to be... Um, they're breaking up from whoever this person is that they're in a toxic relationship with or were in a toxic relationship with. They realize this person was a snake. Then you have friends right behind this. So that definitely was somebody friend that wanted to come towards you. They were testing that person to see what that person would say about you. And that person could have just spread it some type of lie, um, talked about you in a negative way to make that person not want to come towards you. But this person knew, this friend knew that they were hiding their emotions for you. And they were in cahoots with whoever the false person is, like going back and telling them whatever it is that you had, that they said about you. But it's like this friend, they done got behind the scenes and this person want to come towards you. It's like they want to snake that person. They want to come towards you and tell you about whatever it is that that person said about you. Yeah. Yeah, soulmate. This is definitely a soul contract. Twin flame. You have date. <clears throat> And then faded meeting. So yeah, this person is definitely coming towards you. This person wants to date with you, meet up with you. They feel like you're the person that they're meant to be with. You have family here. So it's like your ancestors are bringing you and this person back together to have a faded encounter, a faded meeting. Somebody had to realize that they had snakes around them, especially in their friend circle. And the person that they were attached to was somebody that was a snake. Storm warning, this is definitely going to happen unexpectedly. And then divine timing on the bottom of the deck. This person wants to come towards you with a love offer and then roll the dice. It's like they're taking a chance now that they've gotten woke. It's like they've had an epiphany, went through some type of spiritual um, awakening. That person um, needed to learn some type of life lesson. But yeah, it's like somebody wants to come towards you and try to one up that person before they come towards you because they feel like that person was trying to one up them when they tried to come towards you but they were working for whoever the false person is when they wanted to come towards you so it's like now they're out for revenge on that person because that person was hiding how they felt and they know that that person lied to them wow yeah, these are two people that have desperately tried to block two people's love life.
because they knew about a soul contract. So yeah, this is something serious. You have bystander. They're definitely sitting back watching. Enlightenment is here. So yeah, somebody definitely got enlightened. They got enlightened about these people wanting to have them stuck. Because as I said, they were working together. This person did, this friend did not expect to have some type of emotions for you. They've been hiding it because they knew that this person was hiding their emotions. So it's like now that this person have um, gotten woke, you know, got enlightened, wanting to come towards you and they're in and out this toxic relationship. This friend is wanting to communicate to you about the betrayal, the lies. And you could have already knew this. You could have knew that that person was blinded from the truth. You could have knew you warned this person about whoever it is that they were attached to. Yeah, somebody definitely got caught up. Yeah, you're someone that's very intuitive. They were only dimming your light. Somebody is under investigation. Then you have panicking. Wow. Capricorn is here. You could be a Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. Then you have new love and then regret. So yeah, whoever this Capricorn is, they're panicking. They've been sitting back watching you. They could be investigating you, um, standing by. They're in regret because you got new love coming towards you. So one of these people could be a Capricorn or you could know a Capricorn that's in regret. They're panicking because you have new love coming in. You have, hold on one second. So you have Gemini. You could be a Gemini. One of these people could be a Gemini. Deception is here. Sagittarius is here. You could be a Sag. One of these people could be a Sag. You have the truth. Karmic soulmate. Somebody definitely realized they were on the wrong path. Then you have federal case. Karmic feminine. So whoever this person is that they're attached to, if this is a karmic feminine, whoever this, um, because you've got private investigator, you got under investigation, federal cases here. It's like the person, it's, as I say, all hell broke loose when they partnered up with somebody. They didn't, this could be a artist. Like this person is under investigation for something. Yeah, it's like somebody kept their self binded to some type of bad negative karma. And um, they're in deep regret. Because like whatever that person was doing, you know, they were in the energy thinking that they had got away with it. It was hidden. God see everything. This person did not know that this would land them wrapped up in some type of federal case. They're, it's a private investigator involved. And um, they're under investigation. Yeah, so it's like this karmic feminine that they're attached to. You have karmic soulmate. This could be the other person, the karmic friend. Wow. Yeah, these were a lot of people that are haters. Whoever these people are. Yeah, secret hater. This was a secret. You don't even know these people. Karmic justice is here. And it's like that person was talking about you in a negative way. If this is your twin, hold on. And if this is your twin and they talked about you in a negative way, deceived you, betrayed you, they're in regret because whatever, not only was but it was the truth when you tried to warn them, but they're finding out you're the other half of them. So they're in, it's like they're in more regret on top of realizing they're in a toxic karmic cycle going through karma and keeping their self like stuck. You have growth. Strength. Then you have lustful energy. Stressing. Burdens. And then clarity. So if this person was operating and you have needy and codependent, this person was operating in a low vibrational lustful energy. You know, they went after lust, you know, something that was um, only attraction. They're weighed down. They're stressed out because it's like they're see, they see you as someone that's very strong with strength being here. And as you chose to be in this energy, like be very strong, um, you could this could be you being celibate with the nine of pentacles. They've watched your growth. Not only that, they've gained clarity. You try to give this person clarity. This person was attached to someone that's very needy, codependent. That person brought in obstacles for them. They were trying to send obstacles to you because they know that you're that person's true love. 
Yeah, this is something serious. Yeah, it's like they were trying to get that person to get information out of that person. And they sat back, talked about you in a negative way, took it back to whoever this false person is. And that person was happy, you know? They were celebrating. They felt like they had that person binded under some type of, you know, dark magic or confusion because that person talked about you in a negative way as they were blinded to who you truly are to them. Like now everybody is in regret. Everybody is stressing. Yeah, past life relationship. And then psychic connection. So yeah, this person is always thinking about you. Um, you and this person definitely have had a many past life relationships together. So there's always this instant attraction. Somebody wanted the attraction, the energy that you and that person share for one another with that person through dark magic. Because like they knew this hidden knowledge. You have intimacy. And then not for you. It's like if this person is someone that has this psychic connection with you, you know, they have this strong attraction towards you. Yeah, it's like you and this person are together spiritually. This is why this bond is so strong. This is like this person has sexual attraction towards you and they don't have attraction for that this third party. It's like somebody is realizing that a third party... Um, was an enemy to them and that's somebody that did, did not serve their highest good yeah because it's like somebody could have this so it's like somebody wanted a person to be attracted and lusting after how they looked because on this intimacy card it's like the real uh sexual thoughts and attraction uh, this, I'm hearing fantasy that this person have about you. It's not based off of looks. It's based off of the energy that you walk in. And it, this is what makes you sexy to that person. This is what makes you attractive to that person. And another person is trying to look a certain way to, you know, keep this person tempted. I'm so done. Yeah, you have half faith. So it's like your ancestors are wanting you to have faith because something is uh, destined to take place. Another person was blinded from the truth and something needed to be revealed to them. Um, you're definitely someone that made a right decision. You're on the right path. Yeah, it's like you're, 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 you're in the energy where you're having faith that the right person will come to you. You're going to be placed around the right people. Because you've ended something out and you've started over. And this is what you were supposed to do. You made the right decision. Influencing factors. This person could definitely be going through, um, you know, money itch issues, career change, something like that. Or they lost a lot, as I said, when they partnered up with whoever this person is. Because they didn't know what was hidden. They didn't know that person was just attached to them for material gain, stability. And it's like that person lost everything. They started going through a lot of unexpected events, karma, you know, changes, different things like that. Crisis. Man, this, this all took place so that person could set healthy boundaries with whoever that person is. This is why that pers this person just ghosted you. Because it's like that energy was blocked off from you. You had already ended out some type of cycle. And you were in a whole nother cycle. So, yeah. Somebody is definitely coming back towards you because faded meeting is here. Um, this is definitely going to be happen, un, happening unexpected. You're not going to be able to um, predict this when it happens. It's like it's going to be unexpectedly. 